So work capability assessments, um, they want to change the way they assess people's capability to work. And they have put out the feelers, basically, um, to see what you think. And I'll put the email address because you can respond. I'm going to go through some of the changes that they want to put in place. Um, But basically, the way that they look at you and assess you whether you can work or not. So they want to change the parameters to see whether you are fit to work and force people back into work, really. So the getting about section, they want it to be removed. The mobility section, uh, where it was 50 metres, is now going to be changed, or they want it to change, really, to 20 metres. The incontinence section, so where that is the loss of bladder and bowel control, They want you to describe your symptoms on a daily basis rather than weekly. So, I mean, that could be a good thing, but also a bad thing. Um, And if you are awarded points, they will be reduced. They want, you know, the social and coping engagement, they want to remove that entirely. And if you are awarded points on the social engagement, they will be reduced. Now, I'm going to break this down to what this actually means. So this means that they are excluding the consideration of someone's illness and mobility problems altogether. They're also removing the assessment category of working, and that's going to have a substantial risk to someone's health. And disabled people may be forced to take jobs that's going to be beyond, they're going to be beyond their capabilities. Now, this might sound great, Um, But if you are taking a job that you can't actually do, you're not going to be able to do it for long. Uh, So you're going to be back into the same position that you were in originally. Um, Now, I'm going to put the email up uh, for you and also put the link that this all these changes are described in more detail. Um, But if you have any questions, please let me know.